had another question about how to attach your balloon clusters. So if you remember, um, it's just a grouping of four or more balloons. It could be more. Um, sometimes I've had clusters of up to 10 balloons. It really depends on sizes. This is going to be a freestanding balloon column. It's not going to be organic. It's going to be more of that structured um, feel. So I've got some white and black balloons that I've already blown up um, and I've already sized. And what I have here as well is just my fishing line. So it is attached to um, the spool and I'm gonna take the end um, if I was going to do this with a garland piece, I would want to leave probably about a three foot tail at the end so I could use that to tie onto the command hook like we talked about in that last video. But because I'm not doing that, I don't want to leave a lot of excess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my balloon cluster. I'm going to take my fishing line. I'm going to actually come in between the balloons. And I'm just going to tie a knot, just like you would um, with ribbon or anything else. And you can see it's now secured to the fishing line. I always, out of extra precaution, just go in and double knot. And then I will take my scissors and just snip off the remaining excess. And so now you can see your balloon cluster is adhered to your fishing line. So what we're going to do is, and it's hard to show in the video, so I'm gonna do my best. It's hard to show this on video, but basically what I've got is my balloon cluster. We've already attached it to that fishing line. I always like to leave a little bit of excess and I'm going to grab another balloon cluster. I'm gonna position it however I want it. In this particular one, I'm just gonna alternate colors. And what you're going to do is you're gonna pull your fishing line up and around one of the balloons on the cluster that you just added. And then you just loop around the other cluster and pull it up through. So what you've done is you've taken the fishing line and you've looped it around and kind of in the middle of this balloon to attach the fishing line to the new cluster. And then I also run it down under the other cluster that I've already used. And what I like to do is I will just go around the entire cluster and just secure all of the sides if I'm doing this in a freestanding situation, which this one will be. So it will just sit on its own. Um, these are great for indoor events. Maybe if you wanna put them around a party, on a table, um, what have you. If you're doing something outside, obviously it would need to be on a stand and it would need to be weighted and there are options for that, but this is great for indoor events.